Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today's video is sponsored by GoV. They went ahead and sent over another one of their LED light strips for me to check out on the channel. This one is quite a bit different from the previous LED light strip we checked out from them a couple weeks ago actually. So if you want to go watch my video about like a more budget friendly LED light strip that is still packed with tons of features, Go watch that video now by pressing the card somewhere on screen right now. It's the LED light strip that I'm currently using in the setup behind me right here. This one's currently set to a light blue, but as you can see, I can quickly change the colors of this light strip just by the press of a button. Hell, I can turn the whole thing on and off. It has music modes, tons of different stuff. So if you want to go watch my video about like a slightly budget friendly version of this LED light strip, go watch that one. But if you're looking for something a little bit more advanced and you don't mind paying a little bit more money, as this is still rather inexpensive, especially when compared to something like Philips Hue. So without further ado, let's get this guy unboxed and take a look at what we're actually dealing with here today. So as always, it's gonna come with a user manual, uh, some instructions on how to actually apply the LED light strip onto a surface. GoV is one of the few LED light strip companies that genuinely care about their products. They show you exactly how you should really be installing these LED light strips and they give you quite a few good tips to ensure that your LED light strip doesn't fall off, you know, minutes after you stick it onto a surface. So they give you some good advice in the installation sheet right here. And on top of that, they also give you alcohol prep wipes that you can use to wipe down the surface before you go ahead and stick some LED light strips on them. This light strip also comes with some screws as well as the light strip like reinforcement clips that you can use to stick onto a surface and the LED light strip to kind of pin it down and prevent it from falling off. These are actually extremely handy, especially when dealing with like some kind of weird surface. These will definitely help keep the LED light strip stuck onto the surface and prevent it from falling down within a couple of days. This is the alcohol prep wipe that I was talking about. They do give you one. Actually, no, in this case, they give me two. So that's good. So we can wipe down the surface before we stick this thing on. This does, of course, also come with a UK power supply. However, if you buy this in Germany or, you know, in the USA, you're going to get your version of the power supply, of course, not the UK one. Uh, by the way, link in description, of course, to where you can buy yourself this lovely LED light strip and check the actual pricing in your own country. But in the UK, this one does cost around £40. And let me tell you why this one actually does cost a bit more money. Why should you be paying more money for this light strip over the other ones? Well, this one actually has way more advanced lighting than your typical LED light strip, like the one that we have behind us there. Unfortunately, with standard LED light strips, they only really have one LED that can change to a bunch of colors. They don't have two extra LEDs that can adjust warm white and cool white brightness and actually make all the colors look a lot more realistic in general. If you've ever tried out Philips Hue, you would know that the Philips Hue color representation is very good. And that's because they use a very similar method to this when it comes to actually lighting up the LEDs. Instead of just having a single LED that changes to like 16 million colors, Gobi has added a cool white LED as well as a warm white LED on either side of the normal RGB LED that is on there. So you get a total of like three LEDs per zone almost. So you can adjust warm white, cool white brightness. I think that's like 50,000 different shades of warm white to cool white ratio. So when it comes to choosing like a warm white or a cool white color, you have that option there. The color representation is gonna be on point, especially with like some dodgier colors like orange. This will make sure that orange, cool white, the normal white actually looks like the color white instead of like a shade of blue or something. Because a lot of the time, if you've noticed with like budget LED light strips, the colors don't always look like they're meant to. But with this kind of LED light strip, where it's way more advanced when it comes to the actual LEDs on here, the colors will pretty much always be exactly how you want them to be. And the customization that you get with this is way better than your typical light strip. This LED light strip does also come with a pretty long power cable here. So if you do need that extra length, this should have you covered. But if you don't, feel free to even leave this like plastic cable tie on here to aid with cable management. But if you do need that extra length, which in my case, I think I definitely will need that extra length. I'm not entirely sure where I'm yet gonna be putting this guy. I'm thinking to probably put it behind my bed so that I could use it as like a wake up light and actually show off that feature quite well. Alternatively, I am kind of tempted to put it in a completely different location, also in my bedroom, but basically above like the uh, shelves and stuff. So I kind of feel like that would look cool because there's literally nothing there now. So adding like some LED lighting, I feel like would be pretty damn sick but not entirely sure what I'm gonna be doing just yet. 
Gotta figure this out, man. All right, we've plugged the LED light strip in. Everything's working all good. And this one does also come with this inline controller that also has a double-sided adhesive on the back of it. So if you do wanna stick this onto a surface, you can do. Taking a look at the actual controls on here though, at the very top there, there is of course a power button. So if you press that, the whole thing will turn off. There's also a static color switching button right here. So every single time you press this one, it'll switch to a different static color. In this case being like a green yellowish color this one being green of course blue you know and so on and so forth for all the other colors and then at the bottom there is a music mode that does actually take advantage of the extra led lights so once we do this uh, the whole light strip will look very bright like believe me when all three lights are actually activated it really does add a lot to brightness and stuff and each time you press the music mode button it's going to pretty much switch into like a different mode so this one's kind of like the color blue. So this one's like the actual RGB mode. So when it comes to like the basic lighting effects, there's quite a decent amount to choose from really when it comes to using the inline controller. Bear in mind though that there is also an app for this LED light strip and it does of course work with Amazon ALEXA, Google Assistant. And it does of course have an app available on both iOS and Android. That app is called GoV Home. You can download it, it's free to download. But bear in mind that once you do download, you'll probably have to make an account. All right, so I'm in the app and one thing you should probably do is find out the actual model number of your LED light strip before you add it onto the app. So in my case, I have the box right here and the model number is H6188. It says it on the bottom there beneath the SKU number. I've gone ahead and found H6188 on the app. I'm now pressing to connect. Every single time I've done this, it's worked absolutely fine with all their other light strips. Their entire pairing process, they've really nailed down. All right, we've connected to the light strip. We can now name it whatever we want. Right, I just connected the light strip to Wi-Fi as well. Let's also see if there's any firmware updates for this light strip. I could go ahead and go over all of the like advanced lighting effects via the app right now, but I'd much rather have the LED light strip stuck onto a surface facing a wall or something before we go over any of the lighting effects. As me showing you the light strip like this, whilst it's still rolled up in its packaging, it doesn't really do it justice. So let's go to the bedroom, set it all up, make sure it's kind of facing a wall or something at least, and then we can go over all the lighting effects. All right, so we're in the bedroom and the plan originally with this LED light strip was to actually mount it behind the bed there, kind of around the bed frame and actually use it as like a wake up light and show off all the lighting effects on the bed frame. But uh, that's not gonna be happening. We're not gonna be mounting anything onto the bed frame, at least for now, maybe in the future, I might maybe possibly make the bed RGB again, but for now, I'm happy with the way the bed is. Uh, we're, we're not adding RGB to the bed today. Instead, I've put the LED light strip in what some might say like a kind of weird spot, but I think this looks pretty sick. And it's basically in like the walk-in wardrobe area. I've added the LED light strip like on top of here. And I think it looks dope, man. It's only a two meter strip. I wish I had like a three meter or a five meter one, because that would kind of light this place up a bit more. But luckily the LEDs on here are pretty bright. And even for a two meter strip, it really does light up this entire area. The entire walk-in wardrobe is literally like bright as hell with a color red. Of course, this is an RGB LED strip though, so we can set this to whatever color we want. Now, as I explained earlier, these light strips do come with an onboard controller, which we have right there. So we can, of course, turn the whole thing on and off very easily. And we can set the whole thing to a music mode and, you know, have a disco party in here. Inside of your walk-in wardrobe, wow. Uh, but instead you can, you know, set this to whatever color you want. You could even set this to like the um, DIY modes that you can make within the app and make like literally a spectrum cycle. Set the colors to whatever you want. They can change at whatever time you want. It's dope. So without further ado, I think we should probably take a look at the app. Take a look at what you can do within the app. Slightly more advanced lighting effects. And at the same time, I can go ahead and show you all of the lighting effects live so i've already added the led light strip as a device so let's press on that and it's going to connect via bluetooth instead of wi-fi for the first time as i actually have to reconfigure this under the new wi-fi network so if we do go to wi-fi settings we can type in our new or router name i think it's called asus-rgb there we go wi-fi connection succeeded lovely stuff uh, so now the light strip is connected to wi-fi and bluetooth but at the moment we are just controlling it via the bluetooth setting all right, so we're in the app here. We have a music mode, we got a color mode, and then we have a scenes mode. The music mode, you can adjust the sensitivity, of course, as well as the color auto option. So if you disable that, you can choose from a bunch of static colors instead. Uh, but if you want it to be, you know, a little bit more exciting, keep it on the color auto mode. And as you can see, whenever I speak, it's gonna start flashing away. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn this mode off because it, it, it's kind of insane. So taking a look at the color options one, 
uh, you, you know, you get your normal colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, all this stuff. And there's also now an extra setting for cool white and warm white, which specifically adjusts the two extra LEDs that you have on board your LED light strip. In terms of the actual like, reproduction of the colors and the accuracy of them, for the most part, they're pretty good. Uh, apart from two colors that I've noticed that in my opinion still look really off and do need some improvement. Uh, the color orange, that doesn't really look like an orange at all. And then the color yellow as well, that looks more like a green than a yellow. I, I don't know if I'm freaking colorblind or something, but that don't look yellow to me. Uh, green looks absolutely spot on. Blue, blue looks spot on. Uh, this like light blue, perfect. Purple's fine as well. The color white, once you press on white, I'd recommend if you do want some extra brightness, crank up the cold white setting as well, and that'll be way, way more brighter and looks pretty damn good. You could even go ahead and mix some of these colors together as for some reason they let you control these LEDs individually. So you get your normal RGB LED that you control through, you know, red, orange, and all these. And then you get these extra setting basically for warm white and cool white that you can apply over top of any effect, which is kind of weird almost, but it does allow you to make these LEDs run way, way brighter because there's just more LEDs in general that are being turned on. So if we turn on the color blue and then crank up the cold white setting, as you can see, it does really brighten up the room a lot. Like these LEDs, I kid you not, man, they are bright. Even for a two meter strip, this is a very bright LED light strip. And finally, if we go ahead and take a look at the scenes app, there's a bunch of stuff to choose from here, a bunch of preset scenes for you to play around with and experiment, to see if you find any that you like. So there's a movie mode, there's a dating mode, a read, bright, uh, romantic, energetic, candlelight, aurora, and then there's even this gradual mode. So this app is actually updated quite regularly and they do go ahead and add some extra scenes for you that you can choose from. So I think one that they've added recently is called the gradual effect and all it does is it breathes in and out of all these colors for you. But this is more of a breathing mode than like a color cycle mode. If you do want to make a color cycle mode, uh, make something like this. So press on the plus icon here. You can name this one. Let's just put wave or whatever, even though it's not really going to be a wave effect. Uh, press on the plus icon, select red, green, and blue, for example, uh, with the style being fade, and then press apply. And uh, we can maybe speed it up actually, because it might be a little bit slow to start off with. So there we go, man. We now have an RGB color spectrum cycle mode that will just cycle through a bunch of colors for us. But that's pretty much the entire app covered right there. You can adjust the brightness and stuff and you know, turn the whole thing on and off via your app. It's pretty easy, works pretty well. But yeah, this is where I've ended up putting the light strip. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section down below. I think that this is actually like a pretty good location, especially because I've somewhat cable managed this well, not really, but it doesn't look too bad and there's almost like no need to cable manage it, but I'll probably invest in some cable trunking soon. But the way we've achieved the actual powering process and everything has been pretty easy. It's just plugged in there and it's a white power supply, white cable, so it just blends into everything and it doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, especially once we run some cable trunking down here, that already clean things up. But this is how it all looks like in terms of cable management. And to be honest, I'm very happy with this upgrade. And I really do wish that I can do the same thing for the like shelving units um, on the other side here as well. But I run into a very big problem and that is how on earth would I power an LED light strip just like that one for example, up here when there's absolutely no power sockets anywhere nearby. Like I would literally have to power the light strip up here by running cable trunking across the entire room to the nearest socket which is behind these drawers here. This would be a very expensive and very time consuming project just to add an LED light strip there. And I want to do it. Trust me, I want to do it, but it just doesn't make any sense. I have to find a different way of powering this light strip, like maybe like a big, big battery bank, but you know, that probably wouldn't last very long. So I don't really know what I'm going to do when it comes to this light strip. Like I could maybe run cable trunking like from this wall going up onto the ceiling or something, but I don't know how I feel about running cable trunking on my ceiling. Um, I'd rather keep it on the walls and the corners, just out of sight and stuff. But yeah, uh, cable management will be a problem if we want to power anything up here. Like, I want to add a light strip up there so bad, man. And like, realistically, like, I could definitely power something up there. It's just like, cable management, man. 
keel management is important. If any of you have any ideas on like how I could power that thing and keel manage it all nicely, please let me know because uh, I, I really want to get this done. But I have no idea how I would do this. Like, I just need to put a light strip up there and that's it. All right, we're back in the office now. And if we go over to like the storage area slash walk-in wardrobe area in the office room, as you can see, we got another light strip up here. So I'm trying to maintain some kind of theme. And you know, I wanna put these light strips on top of these cabinets in like every single room. So we've done half of my bedroom and then we've done this entire section here. I put a five meter strip on top of this cabinet. Let me tell you, looks very nice. And of course, this is a very similar LED light strip to the one we have in our bedroom. This one's also from Govi. And uh, this one just looks so sick, man. It's, it's, it's all set to red. Uh, but of course we can set the color to whatever we want but i feel like it really does add a lot to these rooms because without any led light strips up there in my opinion they kind of look a bit boring so adding a bit of rgb lighting up there i feel like is a nice addition to the room anyway that'll pretty much be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching massive shout out to GoV for of course sponsoring today's video their link will be in the top of the video description to where you can buy that led light strip that we featured today but yeah guys, thanks for watching, hope to see you in another video soon.